Welcome to the Eczema Warrior Podcast. I'm your host, Julia Chen. I'm here to help you heal your eczema naturally so you can finally live your best damn life. Many years ago in my own eczema healing journey, I was stuck and confused on how to heal my skin. Fast forward to today, after many lessons learned and lots of trial and error, I'm now living my best life and traveling the world with clearer skin. If you're an eczema or TSW warrior who desires a life of food freedom and is wanting to heal your skin without steroids while using mindset and manifestation as a tool, you're in the right place. Now let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to episode 63 of the Eczema Warrior podcast. I kind of have a big update that I want to share with you guys. So in the past few months, I have been really trying to figure out where my content is going and where my social media is going in terms of Instagram, in terms of this podcast, of course, and also on TikTok as well. And lately, I've been really thinking about shifting my content to something a little bit different. And I know this is going to be like, what do you mean, Julia? Like, you always talk about eczema. That's like your expertise. You have your own personal journey. And yes, eczema is something I still want to talk about and I still want to help people with. But I actually want to focus on broadening my practice and actually seeing different clients beyond just eczema. And the reason why I'm actually wanting to do this is because seeing hundreds and hundreds of clients over the past four years now, I can't believe it's been four years. Um, well, almost four years, three and a half years of seeing clients is a lot of you, yes, have eczema, are going through TSW, and you listen to my podcast and follow my content because of your skin. But beyond that, I'm sure a lot of you also experience other symptoms as well. You know, a lot of you also experience PMS, you have low energy, you get bloated, you have nutrient deficiencies, and you're burnt out and you're stressed. And you need help with your mindset, right? And that's why I talk about these subtopics because these are all important aspects of healing that we need to focus on beyond just our skin. And I want to be able to help more people and see more clients who don't necessarily have to have eczema or go through TSW, but just need help with healing their gut, with feeling better in their body. And just being able to live a life where they don't have to rely on medications to manage their symptoms. They want to just feel good and feel energized. And this is what I'm planning to focus on with my new clients now. And so for those of you who have been following me for a while, don't worry. (laughs) I'm still going to be posting eczema content, but it's going to be just broadening the topics. And I think you guys are going to like this a lot because... I love talking about the mind-body connection and that's going to be my focus. I'm going to be helping those of you who are dealing with stress, burnout, um, other symptoms, and we're going to use the mind-body connection as well as diet and lifestyle to help all of you guys heal. So that's a big life update for me, you guys. You know, I was very emotional the past few days because it's a big shift for me to have to go from just talking about eczema to completely changing my content and talking about other symptoms and health conditions. And even though it doesn't sound like it's a big change because really it's just like the wording is going to be different and the content is going to be different. I think it's just in my heart. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be talking about more things now, which is exciting, but it's also makes me a little bit nervous. But Anyways, that's a bit of a life update. I'm going to be shifting my content. We're going to be talking a lot more about the mind-body connection, about the gut-brain connection, gut health. And yeah, that is basically what you're going to be seeing on my Instagram. You're going to be seeing this on more of my podcast episodes. And there are definitely some big life updates I feel like are coming. And yeah, I'm excited to share with you guys if you want to know about it. So definitely stay tuned for the next few weeks. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into today's episode because I am very, very excited to talk about this episode. So you guys know me when it comes to healing your eczema, healing your symptoms, trying to get your health in a better place and you want to feel good in your body. It's important to have a good diet. It's important to have a balanced lifestyle. But 
what is actually more important than anything else is your mindset. And I know this sounds like I'm a broken record, right? I'm always like, guys, like work on your mindset, work on the way that you speak to yourself, work on your thoughts. But I wouldn't be saying this if it actually didn't make the biggest impact on your healing. I can tell you so many clients who have done the diets, have done the supplements, have, you know, worked really hard on the nutrition and the supplements that they take. but because they self-sabotage, because they don't believe in their journey, because they don't get help with their mindset, because they're perfectionists, they struggle a lot with seeing the healing. And if they do heal, they tend to notice flares again, they tend to notice symptoms again, and it all stems from your brain and your thoughts. And so I want to talk about self-sabotaging. I know a lot of you experience this, I've seen it in my practice. I talk about it with my clients. I talk about it with you guys in the DMs. I also experience this. This is just something that people go through. Even if you don't have a health condition or even if you don't have eczema or symptoms or whatever, it's just part of us being humans that we tend to focus on problems in our life, right? So what exactly is self-sabotage in the context of your healing journey? So self-sabotage is basically the act of perpetuating your symptoms or your problems in your life through conscious or unconscious behaviors. Meaning that you tend to engage in certain thoughts and certain patterns that actually goes against what you're trying to achieve. For example, you are working on your healing and you're actually noticing some changes. Maybe you're noticing your digestion getting a little bit better. You notice your energy levels getting a little bit better. You're not completely healed, but you're noticing some changes. But what you're doing when you're self-sabotaging is you're finding all the reasons why you're not. So you're literally creating these problems in your head where you believe that you're not healing. And of course, when you think this way, you're going against your goals, right? You're going against your desires of having this life where you get to be free from symptoms. But because you keep getting in your own head and finding reasons why you're not, you are self-sabotaging. The other thing that you might be doing when it comes to self-sabotaging is you're often doubting your healing journey, right? Even when you're experiencing positive results, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are, because if you're doing the work If you are changing your diet, changing your lifestyle for the better, you are investing in yourself, you're working on your healing journey, there is only one way and one direction, and that is you're going to heal. There's no way that you would go completely backwards if you're doing the work. Like, hello, (laughs) it doesn't make any sense, right? If you're doing the work, it's about consistency and taking action. And so if you're doing this, you're going to get to your goal no matter what. And so if you're doubting your healing journey, even when you are doing the work, then that's self-sabotage, right? Because you don't feel like what you're doing is working. So you are feeding thoughts into your mind that's going against of what you actually are doing in terms of your actions. And, you know, there's an Instagram post that I shared a couple days ago about how a lot of you are stepping on the gas pedal when it comes to your healing journey right? You're doing the diet, you're doing the supplements, you're doing all the things, but then you're also slamming on the brake pedal at the same time. And the brake pedal are your thoughts and beliefs and you self-sabotaging. So even though you think you're moving forward, you're now moving backwards because of a mindset that is unsupportive of your actions. And we don't want to do that, which is why I say the foundation when it comes to your healing journey is your mindset more than anything else. The other signs that you might be self-sabotaging is you are finding yourself that you're comparing your journey to others. You're seeing someone else who is like living their dream life, who is their skin's clear, they're doing all these things to help heal their body. You are following along and you keep wondering why you're not there. And here's the thing, okay? When you have someone to look up to and you're inspired by their journey, for example, me, right? A lot of you probably look up to me because you know, I'm at a place where I don't go through TSW anymore and my eczema is well controlled. And so that can inspire you to take action and to move towards your dream life as well. 
But it's the other thing if you're comparing yourself and you actually feel not great, right? You're like, why aren't I there yet? Why am I not good enough? Why do I feel like things aren't working? And that's when you don't want to be comparing yourself to other people or to me because that's not going to make you feel good, right? And so you could be self-sabotaging by constantly comparing yourself to others and wondering how other people are doing better than you. And that is not going to be good for your healing. The other thing is perfectionism. I know so many of you are perfectionists. I feel like this is just like a trait. A lot of people with eczema or going through TSW have. And, you know, I don't want to say it's like a bad thing, but it can be, right? Because when you're a perfectionist, you obviously want things to be done perfectly. And if things go not the direction you want it to go, because sometimes it doesn't, right? You are really hard on yourself and you might find yourself being very self-critical of yourself, right? You're going to feel like you're failing. You're going to feel like really burnt out because you are doing all the things. You're pushing yourself to the point of exhaustion to reach your goal of clear skin to you for you to be symptom free. And then that's just only going to perpetuate the situation and your symptoms getting worse. And that goes against what we're trying to achieve, right? We're all here trying to achieve clear skin, a better health, healing your gut. And so we don't want to be perfectionists because then we're going to be so, 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 so hard on ourselves. And if we are already dealing with these symptoms, the last thing we want is to cause more stress in our body. And then as you guys know, when there's more stress, you're going to be noticing more inflammation. If I could give you one advice when it comes to perfectionism, because this is something I also struggle with, (laughs) I think a lot of us do, is to just take it one day at a time. I think a lot of us want instant gratification. You know, we want things to improve fast. And I get that when you are struggling with symptoms, you're not feeling good. We want to see improvements fast. But sometimes we have to really slow down and just take it day by day. Be consistent. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself grace. Release the need to control the healing. And you're going to notice yourself progressing every single day, right? Healing is a journey. Mindset is a journey. We don't need to be perfect with it. In fact, the more perfect you try to be, the harder it is. And as a perfectionist, you might also notice some negative self-talk, which is also another behavior of self-sabotaging. So you might feel like you won't get better, that your symptoms are getting worse. You might feel like you are failing because you are noticing a minor setback, right? You maybe feel like you have an all or nothing kind of approach where it's like, oh, I have to follow my healing protocol perfectly. And if I don't, then there's no point. We really have to focus on giving ourselves grace and taking it slow one day at a time, being mindful of the thoughts that you have, acknowledging the pattern. And this is actually what I do when I notice myself like spiraling or might notice myself self-sabotaging a little bit, then I'll just acknowledge the pattern and watch the type of thoughts that I've been having And work on reframing those thoughts into positive perspectives. And there's so many different ways that you can do this. But one of the things I like to tell my clients is to celebrate your achievements. I think sometimes we get so stuck in the healing journey about what isn't working that we forget about all the amazing things that are, right? So celebrate the little things. Celebrate the fact that you slept more this week. Celebrate the fact that you have better digestion this week. Celebrate the fact that you invest in yourself. Celebrate the fact that you have better energy levels. Like all of this is healing. And so we need to start focusing on our achievements instead of focusing on things that aren't working, right? Practicing mindfulness, especially if you're self-sabotaging, we want to sometimes just go back to our breath, right? Do breath work, like breathe in. and let it go, right? Because in the moments of self-sabotaging, your nervous system is out of control, right? You're in fight or flight mode. You are anxious. You are stressed because you're having these thoughts that don't serve you. And so in that moment, instead of spiraling and not knowing what to do, just go back to your breath and breathe in, breathe out. Because it's going to help a lot in your nervous system regulation. And like I mentioned earlier, start small and don't be so hard on yourself. 
you are on the right track. The fact that you're listening to this podcast episode and my podcast in general shows that you care, shows that you're willing to do the work. And so just take it day by day, be consistent as much as possible, speak to yourself kindly, please, guys. Like, I know it's hard sometimes because you're going through it, you're dealing with a lot of physical symptoms, emotional symptoms, but just give yourself grace and take it slow and just be mindful of your thoughts and whether or not they're serving you, because if they're not, then we don't want that as a part of the journey. And if it's not, we need to find ways to help reframe those thoughts. Because once those thoughts become reoccurring and ongoing for the next few months, and it continues for a few years, then eventually it's going to become a belief. And once it becomes a belief, it's going to be hardwired into your subconscious mind. And we know that when it comes to shifting beliefs from your subconscious mind, it's going to be very difficult if it's been hardwired there and it becomes your reality, it becomes a part of you. And that's not where we're trying to go when it comes to our healing, right? We want ourselves to heal. We want to do better. We want to feel better. And so it all starts with the mind and the things that we say to ourselves and trying not to self-sabotage your journey, especially when you are noticing changes. But if you're going to say, Julia, but I'm not noticing changes, I would encourage you to reflect on that again, because I can promise you that you can probably find five things that are working right now in your journey. Okay, I hope you found this episode helpful. I hope it was relatable and it's something that you will work on moving forward. And if you have any questions when it comes to healing your body, eczema, TSW, gut health, mindset, mind-body connection, I'm here to support you in my practice. I am taking group clients and one-on-one clients in my mentorship programs. And so if you're ready to change your life, if you're ready to heal your mindset and just feel amazing in your body and be symptom-free, be medication-free, then you can reach out to me on Instagram at hello at juliachen.rd or you can send me an email in the show notes below. And I'm excited. And that's it. We will see you in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Now, before I let you go, I want to let you know I have this amazing eczema visualization. This visualization has helped me so much when it comes to manifesting eczema healing, healing flares faster than I can ever imagine, reducing the itch, and just feeling great in my body. This is the exact same visualization I use for my own healing as well as my client's healing as well. And if you want to receive this visualization, then all you have to do is leave us a review and Tell us what you think about the podcast, screenshot it, send it to your email at hello at juliachin.ca and you will receive the visualization to your inbox. I look forward to seeing your review and we'll see you in the next episode. 